We'll be showing you two tricks to quickly import questions into a Google Forms survey. Uh, and this works whether you're using Windows, a Mac, or a Chromebook. Quick disclaimer, what you see here may look a little bit different for you as Google changes its software and you are responsible for following terms and rules for Google as well as local regulations. All right, so let's get started. We're going to be using uh, Google Drive. This is Google Drive in the Chrome browser. Go to New, and then More, Google Forms, and it will create a, a simple form. Now, one thing that Google Forms has done in recent years is they've added the ability to quickly import uh, form questions from an existing form. So uh, basically, it's this icon over here. If you hover over it, it says Import Questions. And just click on that. And it will basically show you uh, different forms that you've used in the past. So like this is one that I used uh, for some of my previous videos, Pet Preferences. So if I wanted to import these, these particular questions from that survey, I just select it and then click the select button and we'd be good. All right, and actually let's just take a quick look at that, see what it happens. Um, so it shows the questions that we have here that I can include and I can include all of them and I'm just gonna import them and there they are. Now one thing you'll notice is um, this, this form originally had all of this formatting. There was like a picture of a dog or a cat or a butterfly or something up here. Um, and now that has all disappeared. So I would have to reformat this particular form to make it look good again. Uh, but actually one other thing I wanted to show you is the other trick to import questions, which I think is really, really cool. And let's do this. Um, I'm gonna get rid of these existing ones and we're gonna basically start all over again. So let's say, let's say that I wanna make a survey of um, high school students and their plans after they graduate from high school. And actually I have already created the survey data. This is in Google Sheets, but if you wanted to, you could actually create it in uh, Google Excel, uh, not Google Excel, Microsoft Excel or another program and then get it into Google Sheets. And there's, I, I've shown other videos how to import data into Google Sheets. But anyways, I have these three areas that I wanna ask about. So there's grade, high school, and plans. And you can see the types of questions I wanna ask. Now, of course, I could go back and forth and just like kind of copy uh, this this one, the number nine, and then then go back to this and say, uh, what grade are you in? And then I could start doing things like, you know, pasting in uh, grade nine. But there's actually, it, Google actually makes it really easy if the data is already in Google Sheets. And all you need to do is go back to your spreadsheet and then select the data. It's usually in a column. Copy it and then paste, paste it into the first field. You see that? I just pasted 9, 10, 11, 12, and other right in all at once. I didn't have to uh, type or paste each one in individually. So this is a huge time saver. And then I could make that required. And then I could add another question. Just go to the plus icon here and hit that. Okay, so the next question, let's see what it is. High school. In fact, I could just, I could just paste that if I wanted to. High school, what is the name? Okay, and then I could go back, I could grab these high school options, these are local high schools where I live, and just, actually if it doesn't let you paste it in here, change short answer to uh, multiple choice, and then paste over option one, and you can see it all went in there. Make that required. And then finally for the last question, can't remember what it is, oh yeah, your plans after you graduate. So I'm just gonna copy that. And basically what I'm doing is I am selecting the first cell, then I'm uh, holding down the shift button and then holding the arrows and uh, going arrowing down until they're all covered. And you can see they're all kind of colored in the background that I'm using uh, Control C in Windows or Command C in Mac. And then I'm going back here. Uh, what are your plans after graduating? Whoops. And then I would just do the same thing again paste it in. And there we go. Full-time work, technical school, military, four-year college, other, make that required. So I'm basically done here. Um, maybe what I might do is just check my settings because sometimes I found that, for instance, uh, for my particular organization, when you create a form, it restricts it to users in that organization. I don't want to do that. Um, I can limit it to one response. Um, I could collect email addresses. You know, there's all kinds of things I could do and hit save. And then I could just, I could, I, I could start to share it out. Click the send button. Um, you can email it to people or you can just grab a link. I'm going to shorten the URL. Okay, copy that 
And then let's see what it looks like in another browser window. I'm gonna paste that in. Here we are, okay. You can see the survey, it's pretty basic, but it saved me a huge amount of time because I already had the data in Google, in Google Sheets and I was just able to paste it right over. For more information on how to get the most out of uh, Google Forms, Google Sheets, um, and also the other programs in Google, I've, I've written an entire book about it. Um, if this video helped, please take a moment to like it or follow me on YouTube, and you can see more of my videos and blog posts on in30minutes.com. Thank you so much for watching.